All right, welcome everyone as we're coming on board. Just very shortly, we're gonna start our first ever virtual fire service day. Gonna get uh, everyone starting to join here. Thanks, Carrie, Jacob the Rummer, Gray's Needs. Can you guys hear me okay? Someone can just put a thumbs up, please. Good morning, uh, excuse the princess. Can you guys hear okay? Thumbs up, great, thank you very much. All right, we're uh, here at our fire station 112. We're gonna be started in just a moment here. Let a couple more people come up on this live stream. Give you a quick pan around while we're uh, getting everyone on board here. Great, glad you guys can hear perfect. Thanks everyone for joining. We'll get started in just one second here. Thanks for joining from Texas. Hi Aaron, I saw you on there. Hi Connor and Cole. All right, great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this started here. Good morning everybody. My name is Ralph Terrazas, Fire Chief of Los Angeles City Fire Department. We're here to kick off the first ever virtual fire service day event and I hope the only ever fire service day event. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to do things differently and we're doing a virtual fire service day event so that we can minimize the exposure to people from this deadly virus. So here I am at Fire Station 112. I want to tell you about a little bit about the history of fire service day. The LA City Fire Department, in fact, originated Fire Service Day back in May of 1956. And it was such a success that the governor of California declared the following year, 1957, to be a statewide Fire Service Day. So here we are 60 plus years later and still uh, having this annual Fire Service Day event. In the last few years, We've had massive participation at multiple sites throughout our department. And we, were, we knew we had to do something this year. We couldn't just say we're not doing it. So this is what we're doing to continue that tradition. My personal experience with Fire Service Day started in 1968. And I was at the old Fire Station 112. Right now I'm at the new Fire Station 112 with boat four right behind me. But back in 1968, my dad took me to the old fire station 112 and I took a tour of the old boat, of the old fire station, and I vividly remember the firefighters letting me use a one inch hose line and spraying water into the channel. And I look back on it now and I realize that's probably the, the time the seed was planted in my mind that I should pursue a career with the fire department. Here I am all these years later, I'm living the dream. So I wanna share that dream with you throughout the day with all the things that we're gonna show you. We do have a, a, a heavy agenda. There's four sites we're gonna to go to. We're gonna start, start here at our Marine Fire Station 112. We're gonna show you boat four, give you a tour of the rigs, uh, give you an insight to what happens here on a regular basis. And from here, you'll be going to uh, Van Nuys Airport, to Fire Station 114, look at our helicopter operation, talk to our pilots, from there, you'll go to Fire Station 74. You'll actually have an opportunity to listen to an interview with a probationary firefighter. I know a lot of uh, people tuning in today are applying for our department, so I think the insight that a probationary firefighter can give you will help you in your effort to join the LAFD. We'll close out the day by going to our Fire Station 88 in Sherman Oaks and look at all the urban search and rescue drills that they have planned, I know they're going to be tearing apart a car using the jaws of life. All of these things are designed to give you some insight and some information about your Los Angeles City Fire Department. So I want to say thank you for turn, uh, turning into this event. Uh, stay safe. And now I'm going to turn it over to the station commander of Fire Station 112, Captain John Gonzalez. Here you go, Captain. Thank you, Chief. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, John Gonzalez. I'm the uh, station commander or Marine Task Force commander of uh, Fire Station 112. 
We're located here in San Pedro, California, and Fire Station 112 is called the Marine Task Force because we house uh, virtually one of the, of, uh, the largest fire boats in the country. Uh, we share the, this with uh, Long Beach Fire Department and also uh, New York as being having one of the largest uh, fire uh, complements, fire boats. Also, uh, currently, uh, today you'll get a tour of uh, Fireboat 4. Our Fireboat, Fireboat 2, is currently going through uh, some uh, much needed uh, maintenance and uh, hopefully we should have, be having it soon. But, uh, so I'm gonna give you a little show, a little, tell you a little bit about our station and, uh, and then also uh, our, 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 uh, the rest of our complement of uh, fire resources. So San Pedro, our station here covers one of the largest channels, commercial, residential, uh, entertainment, uh, also for uh, uh, every time a boat that you can think of that passes through this channel comes in from Long Beach. So we have uh, terminals at our container ships that also have oil. And so therefore we have a, a, a very large uh, capacity that we have to uh, protect. And so this is one of the reasons that this one station here is uh, situated where it is. So as we come for, further into the uh, station, um, you'll see this plaza here that was dedicated to one of the uh, firefighters that had the longest history of uh, being on the job, 55 and a half years. Uh, his name was Stencil Jones and uh, 11 stripes on his sleeves. Every five years we get a stripe. So he uh, actually delivered his badge to the then fire chief Bamatri, who uh, was, uh, had the honor of receiving a badge that uh, had been on service for 55 and a half years. So that's the type of dedication that many of our firefighters uh, devote to this department, to the city and the, and the uh, citizens of, uh, and residents of uh, Los Angeles. So as we come here, this is uh, Battalion 6. Uh, battalion 6 is uh, our battalion chief and they also are in charge of uh, one of the largest battalions in the city of all the uh, fire of uh, the fire department and um, so from there to our chain of command and then from there we have our, uh, our next chain of command which is the uh, South Bureau Operation South Bureau so as we come here um, to, towards the front of the station um, we have the other complement of our station is, which is, consists of a, uh, a fire engine and uh, a rescue ambulance. So uh, engine 112 and uh, rescue 112. And we also house here a, a EMS supervisor. He's in charge of all the uh, uh, paramedic resources. So, so you can talk a little bit about uh, our complements of our engine and our rescue and stuff. I'd like to uh, introduce to you uh, Captain Kaya. Good morning, I'm Captain Callao. I'm the uh, engine captain here along with Captain Gonzalez. And we're kind of a unique uh, engine company because uh, we're flexible. We're able to uh, take care of things on EMS calls and fire calls on land, but we also do uh, fire calls uh, in the marine world where we have the ability to jump on the bigger boats and go ahead and assist and have extra uh, personnel on the boat uh, to uh, mitigate any emergency. Uh, the Port of Los Angeles is very unique because we have large uh, tankers that come in, cruise ships, and we've got many miles of, uh, of uh, wharfs and piers. So you have to have a general knowledge of that. Today we have our, our rescue and engine company, which is your standard complement that you guys have experienced here on, on um, LAFD Live. We have our triple with a, ho a complement of hose and uh, water in the pump, and then we have our rescue ambulance which we have uh, several of them strategically located throughout the uh, city of Los Angeles. We take a lot of pride here in uh, San Pedro along with all the other companies uh, in the city of Los Angeles by uh, maintaining our equipment and taking a, a lot of pride in making it look clean and sharp and uh, ready to use and on all occasions. Uh, as you can see, we're taking COVID very serious. Uh, the whole city of Los Angeles firefighters are wearing the uh, mask to protect themselves and mostly to protect you, the public. So uh, welcome to Fire Station 112. Enjoy the uh, show for the rest of the uh, uh, fire service day and be safe. Okay, so as we move on, um, so I the fire chief was explaining this is kind of a unique uh, situation where normally this whole area would be the complement of what we have in our battalion, which is a USAR team, we have a hazmat team, we have dive boats, we have divers that will usually come in with their small dive boats and uh, give a, uh, a presentation of, that, uh, of what they do as, uh, as divers. And um, so as you can see there in the harbor, you get a nice view 
um, it definitely shows um, what uh, how large it is for us to be able to uh, mitigate any type of problem that may occur from uh, a fire uh, life uh, saving situation to uh, uh, a possible someone falls off uh, one of the boats or a wharf or pier and then we have to go ahead and uh, also uh, station. So if you're one of a citizens that's going to come be coming by, hopefully you next year when uh, all of this uh, passes by, um, here's where you'll be coming through the front door. So this station has a lot of history. Right here we have the uh, Ralph Scott, which is one of our fireboats that's currently at the uh, museum right now being uh, restored uh, completely by volunteers, a lot of retired firefighters that uh, dedicate a lot of their uh, time to go over there and uh, um, as restore it back to uh, try to at least back to what it used to look like before but as you can see here uh, anybody that uh, is familiar with the uh, boats or marine life uh, you'll see that uh, many of these are, are pretty uh, antique uh, such as the, uh, the, the steering wheel and the helm and and so on but uh, so that's, that's kind of interesting um, this is our a picture of our fireboat too this was presented to us when it became in, in service the uh, the Warner Lawrence, and uh, so for this year you'll be uh, getting a model picture of it. Hopefully next year uh, we'll be able to present you with the with our actual fireboat. So as we continue through our tour here, this is where part of the all the action occurs. This is our front office. Uh, in here we've got our Captain One, Captain Two, and uh, and our EMS supervisor. And here's where the day-to-day -day, uh, activities occur. Here we'll uh, do all our staffing and uh, making sure that we have a full complement of, our, of, of all our staff in, uh, whatever events we have uh, that are occurring during the day. Um, one of the unique things about this station is that it, it brings us a lot of visitors from not just other cities, but from all over the world. So many times that we'll have, uh, we'll have um, visitors that come and visit us and uh, we'll know in advance so we prepare for them, especially if it's, uh, if it's from a uh, uh, another country that uh, is taking some courses in with here at the fire department. And as you can see right here, one of the things that we'll pan on is uh, many of the patches of uh, many of the visitors that come by. So it, it got to the point where we've got a lot of patches, so we need to put up more, more um, cabinet space to, to show. So when they come in here and they see, they'll see a, kind of a bit of a history of, of making a fireboat too. And uh, from the the time of construction when it started. And the unique thing about this is that, um, although it was built up in Washington, uh, it was built in Washington, many of our firefighters, our fireboat pilots, and engineers that are assigned to our boat had a lot to uh, do with the uh, construction and the design of the boat. Um, so they wanted to make sure that it was unique, not just as any fireboat, but unique to our location here in the, uh, the Port of Los Angeles. So if you pan more over here, as you'll see, You'll see some more um, more patches from virtually all over the country. Um, I don't know which uh, country. I'm sure there's a few that we're missing here, but I think we pretty much had uh, all of them that come by and visit. So, as we come into a, a station, as most people may know, that visit I have visited fire stations before. Is we we live here in a 24-hour um, basis, so we're here for 24 hours, and, and this is one of the places that we all get together. Uh, we eat uh, together. Uh, in our situation, everybody has to share their cooking. So besides having firefighter skills and, uh, and every other exp expertise you may have, uh, the other most important one is at least somewhat of a cooking skill. So when we tell our rookies, they always say, at least have one good uh, recipe because uh, you're gonna eventually end up cooking. So this is our, our, our compliment. Uh, so again, one of our stations here has, every station will have a, a kitchen and uh, so that's part of the uh, firefighter life also. Um, as we go further into, into our patio area. So this is, this is our patio area. And again, you get a pretty good view of what the Port of Los Angeles uh, looks. You've got uh, containers there, uh, offloading and loading in many situations. And then also right here, we have the Iowa, the USS Iowa. Um, again, right now, that, that is no longer, uh, it's been decommissioned. 
a time when uh, before COVID, there was a lot of large uh, uh, visitors coming here to visit uh, view the uh, Iowa. And then the other thing that also has this port also has several um, cruise ships that uh, use this port. So, so the next thing that we're going to be taking to you is uh, Fireboat Four, and that's our second largest boat of our five boat uh, complement. And um, Coming through here to uh, present to you our, our fireboat uh, four. <laughs> we're gonna go. Uh, oh. it's, it's inside the apron. We're gonna go ahead. Okay, we're gonna go through uh, here real quick. So. Just so that uh, you know, we uh, our fireboats are are all firefighters. They start off as firefighters, they took the required courses and classes, got the required licenses, and they worked their way up to becoming a pilot. They start off as a fireboat mate, and then the same thing, they have to have uh, certain classes and courses, and then they eventually become a fireboat pilot. And again, it all started from, uh, from becoming a, uh, a firefighter. And, and that's pretty much how our department works. All our specialty uh, from uh, People that you'll see that are USAR, hazmat, arson, uh, paramedics, all those uh, specialty uh, areas of our department. They're all firefighters. Our PSO, PIO, the one that's uh, giving us our tour right now, is a big start off as a firefighter. So there's a lot of, uh, kind of like Fire Chief Trossus was stating that with all those people trying to become firefighters and going through our firefighter uh, testing process, that's the kind of the unique thing about it, the LEFD. Uh, not too many fire departments have is that we promote within and therefore you know gives us a lot of uh, motivation to want to continue studying want to continue promoting because uh you know it's going to stay within the department so i'm going to pass it on to uh, our uh, fireboat pilot here fireboat forward is a uh, pilot uh, jajoni and um we can go ahead and continue with uh, the tour of uh fireboat forward Fireboat pilot Hanny Dijoni for Fire Station 49 assigned to Fireboat 4. Uh, Bethel F. Gifford. Uh, uh, Fireboat 4 was commissioned in 1962. Um, it was designed and built, uh, paid for uh, through the Los Angeles Fire Department uh, for the core complex. Uh, it was built at approximately $639,000. Uh, Bethlehem Gifford, uh, at the time was the town chief, uh, was a big uh, innovator in the design and um, research of Fireboat 4. Uh, 62, this boat was commissioned, and uh, it was commissioned to uh, Bethlehem Gifford, but he passed away in 1964. Uh, Bethlehem Gifford, Fireboat 4, is uh, approximately 76 and a half feet long, uh, 24 foot beam, um, and an 8 foot draft. Up approximately 9,000 Jeep cams at 150 psi. We have the four work nozzles here. Six on each side, total of 12 meters at 500 GPMs. We have a uh, stern monitor, we have a quarter monitor on uh, port and starboard, those are at 1,000 GPMs. And we have our stern monitor in the center, which is 2,000 GPMs. Um, it was designed for and for the Port of LA in Los Angeles. Um, in the complex, we had a uh, majority of the wharfs were wood at the time, and these uh, nozzles here were pretty much we'd come alongside a wharf and we'd be able to uh, put a uh, stream into the, underneath the wharf. Walk towards the bow. The pilot house of Fireboat 4. Uh, we have a crew of five. Uh, we have a, a task force commander, uh, Captain 2, a fireboat pilot, one fireboat mate who runs the deck, and two engineers. One of the engineers is here. This is our pump panel. Um, and we have one engineer down below in the engine room at all times. 
as we're pumping, the engineer down below will transfer to this engineer here and he will do all the pump pressures. This is the pilot house console uh, where the boat is operated. I can operate from either side, port or starboard. Uh, we have underwarf nozzles that are water jets that will help us move side by side. This boat is also equipped, we have underwarf nozzles that are in the bow. We could pump 2500 GPMs each underneath they come out and we can adjust the stream underneath the wharf. Uh, this boat is the oldest frontline apparatus in the city. Uh, again, it's built in 1962. Uh, everything is pretty much original on here besides our electronics and radio package. The consoles are all original. And then now we can move down. I could take uh, maybe take a look at the engine room. Pass you over to engineer Glenn G Gomez, signed fire boat four. There you go. Hi guys, happy fire service day. Engineer Gomez, I'm assigned to boat four. Uh, there's two engineers to sign the boat four. One that uh, controls all the drive engines and the bumping motors down below, and one that stays up top and pumps all the pressures up in the pilot house with the pilot. And would you guys like to come down? Okay. So for noise purposes, we uh, shut it down because we have a generator that was running. It's very, very loud, but briefly I'll describe what's going on down here. So basically what we have here are these first two engines. They're Caterpillar V12s, and these are the engines that drive the fire boat. And in front of these, we have another two V12, which are our main pumping motors. Each one is 3,000 gallons. So there's one on each side, the port and the starboard side. And this is our workbench here that we do all our maintenance. And then in front of these uh, main pumping motors are our auxiliary motors. And these are in our Caterpillar inline uh, six cylinder motors and each of these pump 1,500 gallons per minute. So we also have a generator system, uh, which is right over here, it's our own end generator. And if that goes down, we have a backup, which is actually tied to this auxiliary pumping motor, which we can take from pumping water to um, creating electricity for us. So we have a total of uh, eight motors on here and seven of them are air start. So they require no electricity. Uh, we do have a, uh, so all together, all our pumping motors combined can pump 9,000 gallons per minute. And we, uh, we also have, well, let me back up. So our two main pumping motors they pump a 10 inch main system, which is right here. And on the other side, and it's basically all looped together. So we have the ability to pump all our monitors and all our firefighting um, appliances up top. And then the two auxiliary motors are connected to our main, main line too. And that's a four, pumps off a four inch system. So together combined, it's 9,000 gallons. We, uh, we also carry 2,000 gallons of foam, and we have the ability to pump uh, off of our main bow monitor or our pilot house monitor. If we did one, we could pump, uh, pump uh, foam for uh, 22 minutes. If we were pumping both, we could pump it basically didn't have that, 11 minutes. Behind you is our we call it the quiet room. So it has a door with a big window here. So you can kind of see it out. And this is where all our power comes from. This is where we start our motors. This is where we uh, pump all our, our drive, our, our pumping motors. This is where we start our, our drive motors. And it also has the ability to start our generator. And uh, 
if you look on the wall in the quiet room, it actually has the, it's called the EOT, it's Emergency Order Telegraph. So back uh, before the electronics came, if the pilot was requesting for us to pump a certain pressure, we would pump that certain pressure by just dialing it and turning the knob. And it basically makes like a ring down here. So we, also, we actually do use it uh, to start and shut down the motors. Uh, let's see. So I guess that's about it. Um, thank you guys. Have, have a great fire service day and uh, I'll pass the mic back. Thank you. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour of Fireboat 4. We're gonna take about a 10 minute break. We're gonna get Fireboat 4 into position here and we're gonna give you guys a great water display. So stay tuned, we're gonna end this stream and we're gonna start again in about 10 minutes. Thank you.